heart is good medicine, but a crushed spirit dries up the bones. Does Magister Batter not teach you the scriptures? Magister Batter is a horse's dangles. And here is the axe I used to swat a fly. You have ventured from your burrow. And you have plunged my city into chaos. I had hoped you would use the lessons of your subtler gods. We have no subtle gods. If the gallows is truly dead, perhaps we can allow cautious revelry? I did only what I agreed to, Alfred. If your crown now weighs heavy, I would gladly take it from you. <sighs> Forgive my outburst. God sowed in me a passion, but English prose is an instrument long out of tune. We all want better for our people, don't we, Eivor? Yours and ours. The quill remains. What do we know? The decay of learning has been gentle in Wessex. We enjoy the office of wise men, but we have neglected the study of wisdom. The quill preys on this lapse. Did you discover more from the writings I found? I did. The quill is calling the children of Winchester to arms. Now we know why so many children scurry through the streets. Feral and untutored. I can talk to some, see where they lead me. Good. Find me at the alehouse when you're done. And try not to scare the piss- We Norse are the monsters of your sex and mother's bedtime tales. I promise nothing. I see you, child. Come. The bad Reeve, Selwyn. I saw you punish him in the square. He hurt many people. Yes. He hurt my mother to death. Then took her good luck charm. Perhaps you found it? A little carved tree. I found no charm. Lucky or other. A bit of silver then? It wouldn't have the same value, would it? You ugly Dane! Spry little mouse, will you leave me? Struggling and give back that apple. Apple? I didn't scrub on nothing. Get your hands off me, Cowbreath. <laughs> Cowbreath? You little street rat. No! Get no. Someone help me! You there, little cut purse. Keep your beak out, nosy. I'm starving. God's beard! You'll set Winchester ablaze! Roly poly mutton man! You can't catch me! Oh, God help me! I'd rather be shoveling dung in Malvern again. Ah. Huh. <laughs> 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 
Again? You should mind your own beeswax. Elwyn, is it? You wield fire like the flaming Jotnar. It, it was burning when I found it. Well? Oi! Wigbert! You hand it over, Elwyn. We saw your little shadow take it. What are you looking at? Turn around, walk away, and you keep your insides inside. All right, all right, no harm meant. Stay out of trouble, you grub mite. <gasps> that showed them. Trouble seems to follow you. And I wriggle out of it like a slippery... What is so important that you would risk his... Keep your sticky... Whose business? Us? Working for the Quill? Shows what you know. Is that so? Those were the Quill's meat mops, and you sent them scurrying off with their tails between their legs. It sounds like you owe me your life. This one's brave and strong. So you're not working? We steal to stay alive and out of the Quill's... But you know where I can find him. They come up from the sewers like rats. Go on, give her what you took. Maybe she can save us. Good luck, Dane. Try not to get maimed and all that. Be my eyes soon. <gasps> I should watch out for a mouse trap. <laughs> I like the pretty things, but Magister Battis is stealing is wrong. Everyone died. ...and left me alone on the streets. There's never enough food. I'm always starving. Oh, 
Now, now, Elwyn. Few have the wit that you and I possess. Most see the world in simpler terms, where we are the weaker sex. A brood mare who preys on innocence and you brag about strength. How little you know. Defend your mistress! Come, child. Whisper what you've learned, and Mother will give you a treat. Coward! Using children to spy and steal for your order. To educate them. Give me a child until you're seven, and I will give you the man. Or woman. Use are letters when a child can only write his name in pig shit. Or wisdom in a woman when she cannot wield it beyond her heart. <laughs> I taught little Alwyn so much more. Saved her from a life less worthy. She will find enlightenment in the Order, just as I did. If I could save them all, I won't. But you can't. You have corrupted too many to save too few. Ah! My order! 
water is the only way forward. It can quench our thirst for knowledge. If only Alfred's slave faith is defeated. And what would you sacrifice for infinite knowledge? An immeasurable gift. Why refuse it? Not their innocence. A pity. Non requiescat in pace. Goodwin said to meet him at an alehouse nearby. Platten on den Erben. Tabes in Venisola to Muit, Armis Venis Fluviali. Velcochis Auida Mores. Will it eat your froman? Have no snowman herds and Lombare ad furore de hominibus quasister co superudit a scabra cuius. Multi autem sunt in numero, sed mente sua...
This is it. Oh, my Dominus oh, Altum of Supplementum Alpha for Liquidae Dominus. I must follow the shackles of brotherhood. I will Pia dedicate my life to glorifying Sin God Anna. through another. I can out drink it. Is this where Justice hides when she's tired? Hides? Splood, no. This is a wake, my friend. A celebration to ease the Quill on her way to eternal damnation. You heard. Hilda's were not the only eyes in Winchester. My spies tell me stories of an avenging angel striking down the unworthy. I have been called worse. Be thou hail, Eldorbana. That's Life Destroyer in our dialect. I said easy with my kinsbane, old honey waves alive in my horn, and my eyes on the door, expecting my death, yet unafraid. <laughs> You're quite safe with me, Dane. For now. If the mead is fresh and the air is cool, you may often find a friend even amongst your enemies.
I could use someone like you in my settlement. With ink on his fingers and a sense of honor. I would love to devote myself to the study and practice of the law. There is a weariness in war I wish I could shake off. Impossible. Even in death, our battles will rage on. It's the way of things. I must thank you before the ale dulls me. By cutting the order down to size, you have given England a hope of unity. It must be a sour apple to swallow, knowing that you are the last of Winchester's enemies. Are you sure the Sikhs is dead? The bishop is dead, that's certain. And if the bishop was the Sikhs, the Sikhs is dead. A transitive property of mortality, you see. I don't believe it. Too much theater in Winchester. Overwrought players and wailing women. Well, you could pay your respects and see for yourself. The funeral is today. If he rots, I will leave with my silver. But if he lives, there's work to be done. Watch your step, Eivor. He'll be a hefty corpse in death. Alive, he'd be much bigger. Whether you find or make a corpse, meet me at the Witten with your report. If the bishop is worm meal, then here should be the proof. A stranger comes to Wember. You do not mourn like they do. Wember is always here, helping the sleeping, singing to them, so they are not frightened before they meet God. The sleeping? You mean the dead? Wember helps the monks. Dig. You dig the graves. Have you seen Layoff? Layoff? What happened to him? Sleeping. Sleeping like my dog when I hugged him too hard. Someone hurt Layoff? Yes. Yes. Fredbear clothes. Did they belong to Wember's friend? Did you know Bishop Ilfirth? No, but I plan to write an epic poem of his grisly demise. Oh, poor Ilfirth, scorched of face. All your woeful companions, bold, bionid, weeping. Weeping as you are... Uh, Sleeping? Oh, perfect, yes. A sad day for Winchester. Maybe now God will reward us with a man who truly believes in him. Such a grisly fate. Did you know Elfrith? By reputation, I did. He was no friend of Alfred's. I once heard them quarreling at a Witten. Elephant 
I am sorry for your loss. Makes no odds to me. But I'm sorry for Harriet. She cared so much for him. More than a sister should. Do you not see? I am in prayer. May we speak of your brother's death? Have you no shame? Leave me. I know the burden you bear. Such a... I know he lives. No, he's... He said it was for the... I am his loyal sister, and I tell you, he is dead. Leave me alone. I cannot betray my brother. Guards, protect me! The face is burned. Watch my lips. <laughs> Die now! Why will you not leave me alone? Enough of this, Cat and Mouse. Where is your brother, the one that called the Sikhs? He is a ghost now. But he will make himself flesh once more at the Witten. And Alfred will be king no more. He means to kill Alfred? Regicide? No. The king will step aside and Aelfeth will leave. You are a damned fool. So I have set him on a path to glorify Alfred, that pompous Saxon. I hope his writing reeks as much as he does. Come on, man!
Satis raro sedate sin. Adhere lumbare ad furure de. Sir, is it? How Who are you? I didn't. <laughs> I have only just. Thank you. I am sure it will be informative. Let us hope Alfred's life becomes more interesting than this. Let us hope Alfred's life becomes more interesting than this. Seeks must be hiding in the crowd, biding his time to strike at Alfred. English prose has been creeping. Not priest, clerk, or abbot can turn the letter of their sermons from Latin to English. And how can we understand God's... These reforms are duly needed. As long as the crown pays, he can do what he likes. And we mourn him. But the foul deeds of the unrighteous are sown among our holy deeds, like cockles and tear in a field of wheat. <laughs> Education, wisdom, enlightened thought. This will raise us above the sins of our fathers. Alfred needs to produce an heir. It's the duty of all great men. And so we meet to discuss all worthy candidates and choose the man who will shepherd our flock. The king is mine! By God, it's true. <laughs> How sweet is the shepherd's pipe when he calls his lambs to slaughter. I was born to Christians in the northern wilds. My mother would cradle me beneath the stars and whisper, dove-like, God watches over you. Then your people came. And God fixed his stout eye as they slit her throat for a copper ring. No stars threw down their spears as barbarians smeared her blood through fields of broken wheat. God watched all. And I hated him. It may be Alfred's God was testing you. A trial you failed. Alfred's God is weak. Yet he would chain us all in his service, from our first breath to our death rattle. My order wishes to break these mind-forged manacles. I am the wolf in lamb's wool. He takes on the role of a god himself. A worthy path to walk. A wolf is but a walking feast for ravens. One more gift for you, Dane. A deadly truth, if you can find it. With my death, the Order will not die. It will only transform into something far worse for all of us.
Elfirth will not cheat Loki's dread daughter twice. I owe you my life. An irony not lost on me, Alfred. My king, we'll go by back streets to the old minster. Eivor may find us there when all has settled. Elfeth, my love! No! Curse you, Dane! My brother served God! He was not a Christian. He abhorred your god. But why strike him down? Have you no compassion for good men? We both have more questions than answers. But if you know this key, perhaps we can help one another. Where is its home? You treated me with kindness. But this damned order, their machinations killed my brother, so the rest may rot. Take this key to the ruins beneath the bishop's house. You may find answers there. Cast about this land, my friend. <gasps> Condemnabitur in convenience. By the hood, stranger. What? Damn 
Face me. Aid me.
If Aelfer's sister spoke true, I will find answers in the ruins. This must be it. The door to Ilfirth's secrets. I will send this to Hytham. He may make some sense of it. Everything they did was to undermine Elfred. She lied to me. There is nothing here of the Order. I should see Elfred for my reward. Oh! <laughs> 
The Lord is my strength. <coughs> <coughs> Come forth, Eivor. Here is far enough. When wrongdoers came to devour my flesh, these enemies stumbled and fell. Have the laws of hospitality been thrown out, Alfred? I did exactly as we agreed. That you did. But do not mistake necessity for friendship. You are a man of your word, a man of God. Indeed. By his example, I live my life. Goodwin? Here is the only silver fit for one of your dragon boats. A reminder of Christ's sacrifice and our charity. This too I offer you. Live here among us in peace as a Christian, or die a pagan in a blood-soaked field. All you have to lose is life everlasting. And if I choose neither... He offers you hope, Eivor. A life of purpose, above and beyond this one. You'd be a fool to refuse. Your reign will end, King of the West Saxons. Raven wings will beat until your throne crumbles to dust. You were wrong, Goodwin. This one is beyond saving. had your chance, damn you! I did not want it. Damn you, Alfred! I will return to Hytham and Ranvi. Turn to they will want to know what happened here.
Nice to see Sigurd back. May I see us? Ready for... I have to go. Fight well, Eivor. I cleared Winchester of the Order. Yet to do so meant working with King Alfred. Your poor fellow soldier led you to the King of Wessex? How very strange. He, or she, is toying with you, it seems. Hytham, I have the Codex pages you asked for. Six in total. Ah, wonderful. We have so little writing from the original Hidden Ones. This will grow our understanding immeasurably. These documents may have been inked by the founders of the Hidden Ones, in fact. But their names are unknown to us. Lost to history. A deliberate choice on their part, I think. I'm hoping these documents shed some light on that mystery. I could not say. They're written in a language I do not understand. You know, the black market merchant Reda has an old piece of writing from the same era as the Codex pages you found. Speak with him if you are curious to see it. Good day. Greetings. Reda, Hytham says you have an old piece of writing from the early Hidden Ones. Oh, that old scrap? Yes, it's just a short letter from one Hidden One to another. One of my rarest artifacts. How did it find its way to you? A friend gave it to me for safekeeping. Bayek was his name. Egyptian fellow. Very kind. Haven't seen him in a long time. A very long time. Anyway, the letter is written in Demotic, so it may not mean much to you, but you're free to have a look. A warning, my beloved. I have heard numerous tales now of a secret codex circulating among the acolytes of our bureaus, both within and without the Empire of Augustus, called the Magus Codex. It names you directly as one of the founders of the Hidden Ones. Apart from putting your life in danger, it flies in the face of what we have tried to achieve with our brotherhood. We are justice seekers who shun the light of praise for our good works and who must live in the shadows of our triumphs. Should you see any pages of this Codex, I advise you to destroy them. Keep the dream of our Hidden Ones alive. Oh, I am not so naive to think this will be a simple task. Few men and women are suited to keeping such secrets for so long. And it may be that we will fail in the end, but we will have failed in the name of righteousness. Take care, my love. My Iset. My northern star. Even in my waning years, I am ever your Osiris. Let our Horus live on beyond us. I think of you often, my jewel. At sunrise and twilight. 
at new moon and full, when the rain falls and the breath of a moon rides across my neck. I remember you kissing me, just there, and I will take that feeling to my tomb. The Order in Winchester has been wiped out, but we are no longer welcome there. My contact was none other than King Alfred himself. The Order wanted him dead, so he fought back. Alfred? The line between friend and enemy is a porous one. Eivor, I could wish it to speak with you. Has something happened? You will want to speak to him yourself. Eivor, the time has come. Our time. Our time for what? My final glory awaits. Your final glory? I fear to ask what that means. Do I not speak plainly? My time in Midgard is done. I wish now to see the hall of my ancestors. If you wish to die, it will not be by my hand. I do not speak of death, Eivor. I speak of life. Life and glory everlasting. I know I've been in a fog these last few weeks. I know I speak words you don't fully understand. But I only ask you trust me once more. On my final voyage back to Norway. To wish my father farewell. And achieve my destiny. Back to Norway? I need to discuss this with Ranvi. If you must. I will await your answer down by the docks. Do not keep me waiting. My love. I want to see the Alliance map. It may be time to return to Norway. Sigurd is eager to see his father and... ...and beyond that I do not know. I have heard ill news about Styrbjorn in the past year. If you go, go with care. We'll leave now, and return as soon as we're able. Good. And be safe. Both of you. 